Welcome guys to another video. How would white win in this position? So right now, you can see black king is already pretty, um, pretty close to the edge. He is at the edge actually, but the pieces are tied. So the first thing white's gonna want to do is king f7, bringing your king closer and still keeping that protection so the black king can only move here. So then black trades pieces. You move. And then he moves his king down to protect this. You move your king down closer. But now things are different. He can't move down because the pawn is protecting. And he can't move here because the king is protecting. So which means he has to move up in these two spaces. He moves here. You take this pawn. Now the black king is in Zhu Zhuang. I went over this in my other, in my other video. But Zhu Zhuang means that the black has no good moves at all. So no matter where he goes, let's say he goes left. You flank the king like this, creating opposition and a runway for the pawn. And let me let me show you in real time. I'm not a, a queen, and you'll win like that. Let's say he thought, I don't want to lose like that, so I'll go this side. Then you flank him like this. So the same strategy, just opposite. Still having your pawn for a one runway. He goes down. Let's say he goes down this time. Doesn't matter. You promote to a queen. Now that does work. But there's also another way to do it. You start with H. Oh, my bad. When the kings are here, H5. Because if he takes this way, you push the pawn. And now look, his king is in stalemate. You're probably thinking, I tied the game. No. But he still has his pawn to move. So once he moves the pawn, you give him a check. He's forced to go down here. And that's a mate. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day.